Now, what about uh, what about the policy forms? So, you know, in you know, certain lines, you have claims made. Other lines of coverage, you have occurrence. Um, you know, which you know changes the nature of you know when things are being covered. Uh, you know, quite a bit. So, uh, talk talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So, with the specialty cell program, you have the ability to write many different types of coverages that you need. Let's say that you're writing the first $5 million of excess, the umbrella, as some people call it. Well, that's following form coverage. So whatever's in the primary policy, they have the ability to do following form for the first layer of excess. They also have the ability to do, as you mentioned, claims made policies and occurrence-based policies. So it's not uncommon for, let's say, commercial auto is a claims-made policy. Um, some professional liability claims-made policy. Occurrence-based, a lot of our construction clients uh, require occurrence forms for their coverage. So we have the ability to do all of those. Fascinating. Yeah, no, I could see running into a problem with, you know, contractors if you couldn't, you know, if you're only limited to the claims made, which is you know, probably easier for a carrier to, you know, to a fronting carrier to issue. Uh, you get to cut off the liability a little bit faster. But you're saying we can utilize occurrence forms here for the, uh, you know, for the construction, um, you know, type businesses and others that require those uh, those forms. Yeah, correct. And that's really that was, again, born out of necessity. Um, when it originally started, they were only doing claims made policies, but occurrence as the excess capital and surplus continue to grow, they have the ability to do occurrence based forms that can stay in place for 10, 15 years.